Hey, welcome back to Trail Trash ADV Garage with Jeff. Um, by popular demand, we're going to do, and by popular, I mean one person I think commented that they watch. So, anyway, we're going to film the Goldwing project. Um, so, this this will be the official intro. Um, some of it's already filmed, so, um, but I realized I didn't think I actually did an intro and explain what I'm doing. So, uh, the, the going's going to be stripped down. The plastics are going to come off. I think I said that in the uh, channel update video last Wednesday. Um, so it, that's going to happen, and it's not a cafe or. A, I'm not really. I'm just going to go where the where it takes me. Um, this is going to be a budget build, but there's going to be no powder coating or stripping all the way down. Um, you may even see a paintbrush and some trim clad. Um, that's Rustoleum for Americans. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> so if you're not interested in that sort of thing, if you want to see, um, something tear, torn down and professionally done, yeah, don't watch this because it, it's not going to be that, uh, it's, it's going to be a budget build. Um, and it's just, it's just to get around and, uh, have some fun. And, uh, I love these old gold wings. Um, yeah, so it's not going to be, it's not going to be something you're going to see you know, on, on some professional page. Um, also I want to just do a shout out cause I think this may come out before next Saturday's video. Um, trailtrashadv.com. Uh, we now have a website up, check it out. Uh, Colin started a blog over there and, um, and just some of the things we're going to be doing around Nova Scotia over the next few years. Cause we want to grow this thing. Um, we think that, uh, the trail system in Nova Scotia is, is really unique. Um, in New Brunswick too, there may, you know, we may incorporate more of the Maritimes, um, but uh, we think there's some great riding here and uh, and we want to showcase it to people who want to come here and ride. So uh, go over and check out the website, mission statements there, a little bit about who we are, um, Colin's blog, and links to the uh, trail guide. All right, well that's about it for this intro. Uh, stay tuned for the Goldwing Project. Carbs definitely will need to be taken off and cleaned and gone through and spruced up. So the brakes is what I need to get going because if I had brakes, I could actually ride this thing. Um, technically, it doesn't. It's not inspected, but uh, it just ran out in May. Eh. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try bleeding them first. So let's get the cap off here. We're gonna try a JIS, but the screws are already buggered pretty bad. Oh, look at that. I got the impact if I need it. Oh yeah, that one's not coming out. It's just an experiment. If I can get this up enough to I can get some vice grips on it. I'll show you the state of that screw. That is one buggered screw. Nasty fluid too. Turn the wheel a little bit. Hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, master is working. There's bubbles. So there's it's possibility just air in the system. I mean, that fluid looks funky, but it's not like totally funky. Let's see what I got. I think I got some fluid over here. 
Okay. Take you off here for a second. So bleeder screws are usually eight mil, okay? But then they're usually cruddy. They go nasty. Just so you can see, I've got some maybe some dark. That is a 12 point, and you need to get that over there. But to break this nasty screw, you don't want a 12 point, you want a six point, which is here. So I'm gonna use a ratchet and a six point to crack that the first time. Then I'll use a 12 point to open and close it while I'm bleeding. But that bleeder screw is really nasty. We'll see if, if we end up having to rebuild the caliper, we'll uh, take it right out and really clean it up. And I mean, maybe we'll end up having to replace it. I don't know. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> no, she is not happy. Take that off. All right, we're going to have to do some penetrating fluid and try to get these bleeders cracked. So I'll be back. So, all right, so I don't have a lot of battery left. I should have been charging this. Um, so basically what I did is I took the master off and I, I just cleaned it up. So as you can see here, we're missing the rubber boot. It was just literally destroyed. Um, and the circlip was rusted. Uh, I cleaned it up on the wire wheel. Um, painting it really doesn't do me any good because other than maybe caliper paint, the any brake fluid that squeaks through and gets on, it's just gonna ruin the paint anyway. Now, there shouldn't be brake fluid squeezing through there, but in case it does, I probably should get a rebuild kit for it. Um, but I might not. I might just pick up. I'll see what I can find. Uh, the rubber, that rubber thing will be hard to, to get uh, replaced. So without a kit. Um, but a lot. I find a lot of times when you rebuild these or when you just clean them up, you clean the bore really good. And I use some Mother's aluminum polish, some Q-tips, and uh, a wire wheel. Um, I didn't film it a because battery's low, and b um, I had to start the air compressor. So. Um, we got some dot four brake fluid here. We're gonna fill this back up. We're gonna put the uh, connector, the uh, banjo bolt back in. And uh, we're gonna see if we can actually bleed these brakes and get them to work. I got both bleeders out, uh, used WD-40 and some heat. Just be careful you don't get the heat everywhere else. You just wanna heat the aluminum uh, around the bleeder. Uh, one of the bleeders has been crushed in and I should have showed you guys that because there's a little tiny hole that allows a bleeder to come through. And if you over torque them, then you'll actually they're cone shaped so that they kind of seat into the caliper and you like you can actually crush that so i i just drilled it uh, to, to recreate the hole um but that may be something i'll have to pick up too is a couple of new bleeders um but we're just trying to get this going right like we're not doing a restoration at, at this point so um you know we're just we're just trying to get her going maybe get a couple rides in this fall before uh we start doing the strip down um jake my oldest son he, he's never driven anything that's quite this uh, big. He, before I take the fairings off, he kind of wants to t take it for a drive. But anyway, um, again. so uh, yeah, so I'm going to go put this back on and we'll try to bleed the brakes. There's plenty of videos to show you how to do that. Um, I'll bring it back and, and show you the results. Yeah. All right. Um, Mash one, I uh, found a bolt in my stash that should work. Obviously it's not chamfered. It's not, uh, I don't know what those are called. Anyway, should work. Uh, I was able to bleed the brakes. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just take it out and show you here. So if you can't get the brakes to bleed, or like if they're just not firming up, and see as you can see, this is firmed much more firm now. Uh, crack that bolt right there, put a rag around it so you don't see. Somebody has dropped battery um uh no not battery you know a dot dot three or dot four brake fluid and it just eats paint so crack that because see how this is angled air will get trapped in here and you won't be able to get it out if you pull this and like bungee bungee it overnight maybe you, you know you'll get it out but uh just give that a little crack um while you're cracking that though yes put some pressure on the lever and squeeze don't don't let off the lever because it'll suck air back in so crack it and then put it back i think i'm losing battery here Let's see yeah seven percent 
So I want to go charge the DJI up. Uh, I'll get these in and ah, uh, we'll see if the back brake will work. I'll have to work on that next. But if I got front brake, I might get a little test ride in today while the weather's decent. All right, I'll come. I'll get an update you later.